Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. So in our previous video we have uh, look how we can automate the API testing in Postman and now in this video we will be seeing how what is the Postman environment and we create one Postman environment and we'll test it out okay. Uh, so let's understand first what is environment in Postman. An environment is a set of variables that you can use in your Postman requests okay. So th there are some uh, set of uh, environment uh, set of variables that you can assign the value and you can use that environment you use them as an environment to your request that you are uh, creating okay so you can use environments to group related set of values together and manage access to shared postman data if you are working as a part of team so you can share your environment also with your other teammates if you are working in a team uh, and you and your team and you are using postman and you can, then you can share that environment as well okay so let me get into my postman i will create one uh, and we will use our uh, bookstore api one uh, get method and we will also use one deck of cards apis to get methods that we have used in our previous video itself okay so these are the two methods that we will be using and for this video okay one is a uh, deck of cards and one is bookstore api okay so this deck of cards API do requires one uh, query params which is deck count which is value is set to 7 and bookstore API doesn't require anything. Let me just first uh, click on send uh, uh, and check whether it's working fine. Yep status code is 200 and it's working fine and let me check this one also. Yes this one also is working fine. Okay so now we will go ahead and create environment for those two. APIs okay so let me uh, get into my environments tab you can see here and uh, I will click on the env create environment tab it will create a new environment and it is saying me to name this environment I will name this as uh, deck of uh, deck of cards env env represents environment deck of cards environment okay why it is not setting rename deck of cards env yeah now it's getting renamed okay so uh, what environment does is look at here i will tell you one by example like you can see uh, since we are passing this uh, base url <coughs> here deck of cards api.com okay so this is our base url so what we can do is we can get this base url and assign the can we create one environment variable as a base url over here i will just write base uh, url base url uh, okay and i will uh, just assign the value it has uh, this one itself and let me just since this is also a http request this is a https so let me just get my base url from here okay i will copy that and i will uh, initial value i set it at deck of cards api.com and uh, current value is also deck of cards api.com and uh, there is one query parameter required for this uh, it, which is the uh, deck count uh, so i will create one more uh, variable as a uh, count and i will assign the value as 7 to 8 and similarly 7 to 8 value here as well okay and i will just here come here and i will call uh call and now if you want to fetch that value you have to use double uh curly basis and then i will to write count and close it and after here also you you if you want to create that you just come here and you will write a double curly basis uh, b a s c base u r l base u r l and just close that double curly basis okay uh, so this is how uh, you can uh, fetch these values for over here by using the environment so let me just create one more environment for my bookstore api i will get into my environment tab and click on the plus and name the environment as uh, let me call it as bookstore env okay and here also i will be using a base url okay base url and i will get that base url from here itself bookstore.demoqa.com i will copy that and i will paste it over here itself okay 
and since it doesn't require any query parameter i will not pass that query parameter from here and i will just uh, get here and i will write base url and rebel curly braces okay so now you can see this is a red and unresolved variable it's saying and i'm getting error wherever i write this why why is it so because i have created these methods but i have not assigned any variables to uh, environment to them let me just save this environment let me just save this environment and now uh, since i have not assigned any environment to them i you have to assign this environment right so you can do it in two ways you just come here in inside your environment tab and you can click on this uh, plus button or the right right button you can still set as active or what you can do is you can come here in into environment tab and you, since it is a deck of card i will choose the deck of cards environment and from here uh, say, uh, it i will choose as bookstore environment okay for this one okay uh for, okay now now i if i hover over here now you can see green is there now, uh, our error is resolved no more errors and now if i hit send i should get the same uh, output that i'm getting earlier okay status code is 200 everything is working fine and i have get uh, the sim similar kind of uh, uh, response that i have get earlier without adding the base url okay now if i come here and if i add the deck of cards environment as a, a set is as set it as active and then in that case when i hit send i should get the same okay i am getting the same response that i am getting earlier by writing the hard coded values over there okay so status code is also 200 okay everything is working fine so this is how you can create environment for very various apis that you have using in the postman and you can create the uh, environments for them and you can share these environments with your team also manage you can manage the roles of the various team members how they how they are managing view only mode right they can write it in there also they can you, if you want the, your own copy then you can fork also this api uh, this environment and when you're done with this environment you can delete it delete this environment as well so this is how you can uh, create and manage an environment in Postman. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.